Yeah, we had play PS, play PlayStation. No, it's a nice setup. Got some free alcohol here. It's the final match. It's Tiria Sat versus Tabang. It's two, it's two, two. Second half, 75 minutes. It's intense. These are two very skilled, very talented players. And you can hear it right now. Tawang just scored. It's 3 2. Riasad came all the way from Jobrek South to come and show love to play PS in Highfield. He made it to the finals, but right now he's 3 2 behind. You could equalize it. Oh no! It's 4-2 right now, Tabang just adding more salt to the wound, just finishing him off at this point. Oh man, you can hear him, Michael, it's over, man. Can Riasad make a comeback? He's, he's down two goals. Tabang is winning 4-2. It's damn hectic right now. Can he make a comeback? It's, we at 75 minutes right now. Prize money at stake is a thousand rand. It costs each player 150 rand to join. So Riesa just adjusted his lineup a bit. Riesa is playing Real Madrid, Tabang is playing Paris Saint Germain. So it's quite a hectic match, guys. And we're streaming on Instagram live, play PS's Instagram page. This is their first esports tournament, starting off with FIFA 22. It's a great tournament. I'm enjoying it, man. So Riesa is piling on the pressure. He's just, an, he's just doing an all-out attack, but Tabang is not having it. Ah, nice defense from Ria. He's pushing forward, just pushing forward. Tabang intercepts the through pass. This is 20 Gaming reporting from Play PS. It's a new gaming lounge in Hatfield Square. No, doing it for the love, doing it for gaming, doing it for the FIFA. It's hectic, guys. It's hectic. It's a small crowd, but... You know, we all showing love. It's all good, it's all love here, man. But is it possible for Ria to make a comeback? He's 4-2 down. And he's playing with the best team in the world, Real Madrid. But can he make a comeback against PSG? Nah, Tabang says like, nah, I'm nigga. Fall back, Tabang ain't having it. Tabang is like, I'm taking that a thousand rand. That thousand rand is mine, I'm going home with it. We had 85 minutes, doesn't seem like Ria's gonna make it. Comeback is highly unlikely right now. Extremely unlikely. Tabang going in for the fifth goal. Can he do it? We had 89 minutes, 88 minutes right now. Tabang wants to put the final nail in the coffin. As the 4 2 isn't enough. Oh, rear side. Won the ball right now. Nice through pass. Is he gonna get it? One goal back. Is he gonna. Oh, no. Tabang's defense is solid. Yes, I just pulled one back. Can you make can he equalize? It's one minute extra time. Ah, it's over. It's over. Tabang won. So Tabang, Tabang. What you just won? What, how you feel? Uh wait, I, I just played with an Orlando Paris player, my nigga, you know, so yeah. So wait, Ria, Ria, you pay for Orlando Paris Esports? Yeah, that's correct. Uh, I came through. <laughs> that's correct. So when, when, when did you sign up? Um, I signed up uh, for Orlando Pirates. So uh, I've been uh, in the industry for around 10 years. So now it's, you know, giving back to the community as well as supporting, uh, um, like, play PS and uh, support structures in SA. So um, it's really good, you know, to come through and give that support. Because like we can see, there's so much talent in Hatfield as well as uh, so much youth that's upcoming towards um, taking, you know, gaming to be uh, a career path. So I'm happy, you know, to find uh, and give uh, motivation to other gamers that, you know, they can also uh, push towards their dreams and uh, make something, you know, from esports. So, so you came all the way from from Joburg, like how? how so when and I sent you the message on WhatsApp group, like where were you when I sent you the message on WhatsApp group? I was out, and as soon as I seen the message, I was like, no, I have to go, because you know it will definitely um, give support to esports in SA. 
and that's the main thing you know uh, guys need to support uh, our structures in esports that's why i came through is that you know uh, to give motivation to the youth and uh, show them that there is opportunity in esports I'm really glad that i could make it and be part of this event i hope to see our tabang bra you beat an orlando pirates esports player there's no joke bra there's no there's no joke so how how was the esports how was the challenge though yeah i have no idea how i won that match honestly speaking yeah like I just got like let me put it that way. He switched off, I guess. Yeah, yeah, he because yeah. he was leading, he may had more chances, yeah, but then yeah. yeah. It's soccer man, it's esports. Luck luck is always in the game. So what's your hood? What you representing, you know? I, I, I'm from PTA North, uh Chantel. Around there, you know, I was the king. So like I was like, <laughs> let, let me try to take on, you know. So yeah, but I'll, I'll definitely be going to more around PTA, you know. Just to, to to play with more players like him and maybe up my skill, I guess. What do you guys think about the, the setup here at, at PPS? I enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed it so much. I watched that. Even the final. Just look at the final. Just look at the display. You feel it. It gives that atmosphere. You feel so. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, what, what do you think about PPS? It was awesome. I really had a good time uh, meeting individuals uh, from the area. It was a really good uh, experience, and uh, we're looking forward to the next event. I've heard that this was, you know, the start of PPS. So uh, we're backing them, you know, to push uh, esports and as well as give gamers the opportunity to showcase their talents. So l- l- let's talk to the owner of of PPS, the guy who made it all happen, man. the guy who made it, the guy, the guy who made it happen, man. So, so homie, please introduce yourself, man, to the to the gaming crowd, yeah, the FIFA crowd in, in SA. Who are you, and why did you start PPS? Uh, my name is Vukile. I guess I just have love for for the sports, man. Uh, esports is growing. And I feel like it's something that you need to try uh, and grow in in small ways that you can. Yeah, I mean I've always enjoyed playing. Uh, although I'm not that great, uh, but uh, yeah, I do uh, enjoy playing once in a while. So why did you decide to start this this, this gaming cafe in Hesto Square? Yeah, well I think this is an evolving um, industry, man. I think uh, it's growing. It's on the way up, uh, and it does need support to to kind of make it mainstream. And there is money to be made. Yeah, I think the guys need to know that. Just need to lower the uh, barriers to entry, right? So by having a space like this, we we make it possible for people who can maybe afford the consoles yeah. to to come and just have a good time and get uh, and get exposed to to the field. Yeah, like I won't lie, you just changed my life too. I've never seen a PS5 yeah. in real life. These things are huge, bro, yeah. and they're expensive. Well, I mean, it took a lot of sacrifice. Uh, it's money that's been saved for for some time. So uh, it just shows that I guess. That I really believe in the sports, and I really believe in uh, in growing the industry, and that there's more uh, upside. I guess it takes it took some uh, personal sacrifice. Yeah, you were telling me that you sold your PS4s to get your PS5s. First, how many PS4s yeah, did you have, no, bro? No, no, what no, the no, hell? I donated my PS4 to the shop. So, what were the challenges in starting this gaming cafe? Because you got like five PS5s. How many PS5s you got here? One, four PS5s, yeah. digital. At, yeah. at at ten grand each, yeah. so that's fifty grand at least already. You got all these monitors already, like yeah. that's eight hundred grand over already. Like, how, how did you raise the yeah. funds? Like, what, yeah. how difficult was it to, to raise the funds to, to start um, this the shop? I, as I said, it took some personal sacrifice. So I had to save for for some time. How long is time? How, um, how long? Like a year or two. A year or two. Yeah. Geez, man, talk about patience and discipline. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you started saving in twenty twenty. Uh, when yeah. the lockdown started. Yeah, yeah. So what helped, I guess, with the yeah. lockdown is that people were, were working from home, so we we're saving on transport, uh, transport money, so we had a bit more to, to say. Okay, so what are your future plans right now? I mean, you had an Orlando Pirates esports player rock up to your first tournament, so, yeah. I mean, that, that, well, that, that's... Well, we hope we're going to have uh, more great uh, players like him. And uh, as I said, the, the idea is to grow the spot. Uh, hopefully, we're going to have more guys coming in just to check it out and then also get into the competitive uh, esports. Okay, so is is FIFA the only uh, competitive sports game you're gonna you're gonna use? What about other games? Yeah, definitely. I think FIFA is the most popular one. I think that's why we decided to start with FIFA. But the plan is to to uh, introduce other titles, other titles as well, like uh, Tekken, uh, Mortal Kombat, uh, yeah. and maybe FPS games as well. And then like all the prize money was was guaranteed. Yeah. So it was a thousand, it's a thousand rand prize money. Yeah. So did you lose or gain and? Well, uh, thanks to these guys, uh, we we did gain. Uh, you actually, well, you actually gained. Yeah, 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 yeah. We did. Uh, I'd be grateful for that too. Uh, I, I, man. So people showed up, came through, and showed love. And I, yeah. okay. So I'm um, in the future. I mean, what kind of, what are your future plans? Like, what, what do you see your vision? Like, when you, when you've ultimately, when you can ultimately say, 
I've made it. I, I think when we have uh, more of these opening up, just to expose the sports to more and more people, uh, tournaments seem to be the, the, the business, right? That's yeah. how we get people in. People get a chance to, to make some money as well. So we do think that uh, this is this is the, the way to go. Any message you have to the city of Tuani right now in, in terms of like sponsoring esports in Pretoria, making Pretoria yeah. the esports capital of Africa? You know, yeah. do you, is there anything you'd like to say to the mayor and to the city of Tuani municipality? Should they take esports more seriously? Definitely. It is an emerging sport and it means that means that uh, it needs a lot of support. But what it also means is that there's a lot of upside. The people who are going to get in early are likely to, to get a lot, lot of upside. It would help if the, the city is supportive to try and grow this industry and see if maybe it can become the, the capital of the sports, right? I mean, if we were to achieve that, I'm sure there'd be gains to, to the city with uh, tourist money or tournament money. So it's definitely something that uh, the city needs to, to, to sponsor. I wait for Gile, man. Much respect, man. Great tournament. And thanks, thank, thanks for the drinks, brother. Tell us about the drinks, man. We're getting free alcohol too. Fox, uh, how did Fox no, no, come on board, man? That's all, uh, that's all LB. He's the, he's the no. ambassador for Fox. No. So he just reached out and uh, I thought it was a great idea to just have something yeah. for the guys. Fox, uh, Fox is a great drink. Yeah. What the?